Time to paint this thing. Hello fellow modelers and styling fanatics, welcome back to my channel. I hope that everyone is doing fine and enjoys the hobby. Concrete Banker is back today with the final reveal or or on our MIN 7 ton track from Revel with kit number 03043 in 1 to 35th scale. Uh, I know it took me a while to, to do this project, to do this project since my last video, but temperatures are high over here, guys, and um, I don't um, want to sit so much in my bench because I'm always thinking of going to the beach and I know that it is not a serious reason but if you stay here you can understand what I what I'm saying anyway in this video I am past George is taking care of painting decals final uh, final detail parts and and uh, some slight weathering uh, and you know the drill guys Crack the mandatory cold one, grab a, grab a seat and let's see what this guy did this time. Hi guys, welcome back to part 4. Past George over here and we continue our work on the MIN 7 ton track. As I said in the intro, time to paint this thing. Um, I should have a plan, but as always, I don't have any particular plan in mind, and I am going to go completely random and decide what to do on the spot, because that's the way I work, or that's the way I usually do things. So. My plan for this episode, my initial plan for this episode is to paint the whole thing as I said and if I am lucky enough to have a final reveal. Now I don't think that I will be able to um, to reach the final stage but that's my aim. I think that I'm gonna get close. So what we are going what i am going to do after i pause this video my first step is to start working on the track bed and when i say start working on the track bed laying some base coats um, process will be tedious and it will get me quite some time to do it so I will do everything as usual off camera and I will return back to tell you what I have done. Uh, a quick uh, thought is paint this as a, a weathered wood surface and the rest of it uh, with the camo skin and some detail painting over here at some parts at some pieces. Now. That's my thought, that's what I am thinking of doing right now. I'm gonna get started and I'm gonna be back to tell you how it goes. Okay guys, I have followed my crazy and definitely not a plan plan up to, up to an initial stage. So, as I said, as I have probably have said in my previous update, my step was to paint everything, starting with the the, the track bed it's itself, the interior of the track bed, and this is what this is exactly what I have done. What you see in front of you is is my 
uh, how can I say it? Is me trying to depict weathered wood over here and detail paint the rest of it. Of course, I have opted to paint the canvas as a canvas color for the interior of the track. The canvas outside will be painted uh, with a track camo pattern. Anyway, so I anyway I opted with the canvas in the interior because I thought that nobody would paint the camo pattern in both sides of the canvas so this is easy I uh, painted this with a darker shade of green than uh, uh, the green out uh, that will be on the camo pattern as you can see it's totally darkest uh, green so let me start playing out the colors the canvas is Panzer Aces canvas 314 the green is Vallejo 71019 camo dark green and then we have the wood which took me quite some time to do wood is a combination of three colors I have laid a base coat with let me remember yes new wood from Pattern the Races 311 then I have painted uh, some boards individual with the mahogany mahogany brown is 70.846 and some other individual planks with old wood 3310 from Panzer Races so after I have laid those uh, base coats of course the planks were different colors and it was looking like a, a comic book or something something that came out of a comic book I have a, how can I say it I have tied every color together with my homemade wash that I keep in a jar it has oils inside lamp black uh, and, and very various other stuff I think it has vermilion, lamp black, burnt amber, uh, raw amber and uh, all in a random mix that I liked so it tied every color together and uh, after that I have dipped some panel liner over there like a dry brush to give it that uh, darker said like waters in the wood you know the thing that wood has and finally I have added some dry mud pigment from MIG this one P232 this is how it, it is how it looks and I have dry brushed it like, like so uh, I think that without a plan because I am still uh, uh, doing experiments with wood this one is a success hmm. now that I look at it I, I still can't decide if I want to do something else on it I will probably leave it as it is because I like how it I really like how it looks and the the it is pretty convincing now I have done nothing more on the track bed. My next course of action will be to detail paint the bottom. You know, the part that goes onto the chassis. I will paint everything here and then I will slightly weather it and then I will be back. Another part of the track bed is ready guys. <laughs> And I know I am making it like uh, it is a uh, multiple different different kits, but it is it is what it is. I'm sticking to my same kind of plan. This is how it looks. Uh, it is base coated with black. Then I have mixed. Uh, I, I have made the wash from light mud. Smeared it all over the place some kind of wash I diluted not a wash dark mud 
from Padme's races, these two. And I, has, I have smeared it in place where the wheels are. Where the wheels are supposed to throw mud as they go around. Which is over here as you can see. I have detailed painted uh, some parts. Added the Pioneer tools. And I have made some uh, mud patterns. As you can see. And... I can call it good if you ask me, I am really happy with uh, the overall look. What I'm gonna do next you may ask, next up we have to move on to the camo scheme, but I'm not gonna do the camo scheme, I'm gonna base coat everything, I'm gonna add this thing to the rest of the truck, and uh, after I have everything base coated with the olive green, the color that you see here then I'm gonna uh, apply the camo the camo pattern because I want to be I want it to be uniform across the whole vehicle apart from that I have painted the canvas cover of the of the track bed Uh, injection marks like this one were present over here but I have uh, filled them with putty and sanded them down as I said this is the canvas top cover it's gonna go on top of this and we won't be able to see the track bed again it's gonna go like this you already know that but uh, I am uh, thinking of adding some barrels or anything inside uh, inside here so it won't be empty but I'm still debating that I don't know maybe I'm gonna keep my barrels for for a diorama or something so we're gonna see what I am going to decide anyway I am happy with my my process so far with my work so far I'm gonna pause the video base coat the rest of it attach it onto the track hey guys it's been a few days uh, for various reasons I cannot uh, find uh, my way to my work belts anyway uh, I have managed to paint the three-tone camo scheme onto the MIN track as you can see and I have also attached the track bed onto the rest of the chassis so the track it is almost complete assembly wise okay we need to attach the the road wheels head headlights and the side side mirrors apart that everything else is in place and it is almost completed all and uh, when I say almost I'm gonna be a bit more specific later on and here it is how it is looking after the application of the three-tone camo scheme it is a bit a little bit huge I have also detail painted the, the indicators at the sides over here you can see the red stuff and here at the rear I have painted the cross over here let me see if I can focus to give you a better look yes and I have also weathered the whole thing from underneath Now, what I need to do, I would, I, I need to apply the decals, give it a wash, a dark wash, slightly weather the exterior, and of course apply the road wheels and the, the last parts. I have no idea in which order I'm gonna do all this stuff, so I won't tell you what's gonna happen exactly after I close the video. Anyway. Okay guys, big leap forward. What you see in front of you is the MIN track, as usual. 
what details you expected to see in that video anyway, I'm telling that from my, for myself. And I have applied the dark wash, the decals, some more um, detail painting, I dusted everything. And I dare to say that this is the final look of the vehicle, the final look. Uh, close to the final, the closest you can get to the final look at this point. I have also prepared the tires, dusted them as well, and now, okay, they need a little bit clean up anyway. And now I am getting ready for uh, attaching the rims on the tires, painting the rims and attach the final pieces so luckily if we are lucky enough and if everything goes to schedule we are supposed to have a final reveal on this video so guys finally i made it i finished the min 7 ton track from revel uh, since the last time you have seen it i have added all the uh, the road wheels The headlights and the side mirrors are in place and nothing else, this is how it, look, it looks like. I am pretty happy with the results and it was overall a good build. Uh, now that I have finished it, I can do a, a bit and after build review and if anybody is interested in getting this kit, I would say go and grab it. If you are a seasoned modeler, if you are an amateur, uh, get ready to be a little bit pissed off because uh, it needs some sanding, some fiddling with parts, uh, some filling with putty and some tweaks here and there, nothing major. but be ready for that now uh, it is an overall good good build with mine in particular i have a small small issue it is not visible but the the track bed from this side is a, a little bit elevated and when i say a little bit elevated i mean one on or two millimeters i could easily fix that if i press it firmly in place and glue it but there are a lot of uh, tiny fiddly pieces over here at the at the chassis side that I don't want to risk breaking so it's gonna stay like this it's not so visible you have to look to stare at it for a while anyway now that it's finished it can go together with my leopard wobbly mode sorry so these two can go together and this can be the municipal vehicle for this one anyway that's all that I have to say this time hope you guys enjoyed the build until the next time fellow modelers and friends past George is out take care and model on and with all that said and done, we have made it to the end of this series. I will probably need to find something new for our next build series, guys, but anything, this is not, anyway, this is not the time to talk about that. Uh, I hope you guys found the series helpful and interesting, and you have enjoyed the whole thing. Before I go, I want to thank each and every one of you that watched this video and the series in general. A special thank you to my old subscribers. You guys are the best and you are the reason I keep doing these videos. For the newcomers out there now, welcome guys. I hope that you like what I do. If so, you'll know what to do. Leave a like, comment with your thoughts and opinions, share the video if you believe that it deserves to be shared or even consider subscribing for more builds to come your way. Until the next time fellow modelers and friends, take care and model on. It was that more for Damon. 
signing out.